Okay, we have a couple more um, area formulas to go through. So um, here we have parallelograms. So the area of a parallelogram uh, is just simply going to be the uh, uh, length of its base times the length of its height, so BH. Um, so in this case, the base of our parallelogram would be 3. And the height of our parallelogram is going to be 2. So we're going to end up with an area of 6. Uh, they don't have units here, so we're just going to put 6 units squared. Right, and again, you can imagine this as you could take this triangle off, and you could relocate it over here. Right, and if we were to relocate it, we would have a rectangle right, with dimensions 2 by 3. So uh, it's essentially just like a rectangle, length times width, or base times height. Right? Um, so let's go to the next one, which is a trapezoid. Okay, so area formula for a trapezoid here is going to be one half, uh, base one plus base two, uh, times the height, right? It can also be written and is often written as, um, uh, base one plus base two over two, uh, times the height. So you can use it in either form. Um, here we're going to have one half. Uh, the two bases are the two sides, the lengths of the two sides that are parallel. So here, uh, these are our two parallel lines. So two and three are going to be our bases. It doesn't matter which one you call base one and base two, because we're just adding them together. So two plus three. And then our height here is the uh, distance, the vertical distance between those two uh, bases. So in this case, it's going to be two. All right. So here, uh, one half times two, right? Those are going to cancel. And so the area here is going to be 5 meters squared. Okay, so that's the area formula for a trapezoid. Um, now the last one we have is the area for a regular polygon. So if we look at number 2 on the worksheet that we've assigned, um, if we count the number of sides here, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So it's a decagon. Now I got to go through and erase all these, but there's 10 sides we just counted. So it's a decagon. Right. Um, the perimeter. So let's start with the perimeter and then we'll do the area. So um, S here is this length here, 2.9. We know there's 10 sides here. So each one's going to be 2.9 because it's a regular polygon. Um, so all the side lengths are the same. So 2.9 plus 2.9 plus 2.9, 10 times, or you could just do 2.9 times 10. So our perimeter here is just going to be 2.9 uh, times 10 sides. So our perimeter here is going to be 29 inches. Okay, and now for our area formula, I'll do it in red or orange here. Uh, area of any regular polygon is going to be one half. Um, a, P. Okay, so P is going to stand for perimeter. Perimeter. Okay, that's P. Okay, A is called the apothem. It's probably a new word. And that's going to be the distance from the center of the polygon to a point on one of the sides of the polygon where that line is perpendicular uh, to the side. Um, so that length right there, A, kind of like a radius of a polygon, if you want to think of it that way, um, goes from the center of the polygon to um, a point on the polygon such that that line is perpendicular to the side. Uh, so that's called the apothem. So you do one half, area of the polygon is one half uh, times the apothem times the perimeter. So in this case, we have area equals one half. Our apothem is A here. They're giving us our apothem as 4.46 4. right? And then we found our perimeter here. 
we found our perimeter is 29 inches. So multiply by 29. So then we can put that all in our calculator. So I got my calculator here. Um, one half, so 0 0.5 times 4.46. Two six times twenty nine, and I got sixty four point seven approximately. So let's put approximately here. I'm gonna round sixty four point seven. It's twenty nine inches times four point four six two six inches. So we're gonna be left with inches squared, which is good because this is area. Okay. Um, if we look at another one. Um, we can't without erasing all this, but say we look at the one below here, right? This is going to have eight sides. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Um, so we're going to have to find our length of one side, which is 5.5 .5, and multiply by eight. That gives us our perimeter. And then we're going to multiply our perimeter by our apothem, which is 6.6391. And then we have to multiply by 0.5. Okay, so that's how you're going to do it for all of these uh, regular polygons.